Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my black and jacket jewel with this battery. It looks good because I've modified it from this nickel metal hydride one to a lithium battery. Let me show you. So it is a very small lithium battery from my RC toy. It drives the gyro pretty well. Today I'm going to show you how to choose this battery. What size do you use? How many cells do you need? And after the modification, how you can charge it with this extreme balance charger and discharger, and also the uh, mechanism behind and how to choose the white one without uh, any uh, dangerous situation happen so if you like this video please uh, watch to the end share subscribe and leave some comment below let's start when you have your battery here in the charger you plug it in it flashing from battery charging to battery full instantly it means that there's uh, something wrong. It means that the charger is to refuse to charge it. And uh, this one is below the first voltage. Let's test the voltage on this one. It is 4.45 volt. It's really, really bad. Really, really low. Compared to 12, and the one I marked uh, super lithium battery is my boiling, and uh, the voltage here is 11.9. So, what is inside? How to make it? I'll show you now. The original one, when you open it, there is a whole bunch of uh, small battery. It is uh, there are ten of them with this nickel metal hydride. If uh, some of the audience have uh, seen my video before, there is a uh, video about how the I activate retrieve the battery by measuring the voltage one by one and then uh, you can have a tickle charging method using a D cell battery to uh, make the individual cell back to life uh, you can uh, click on the bell there is a link on it that popper is pretty good and uh, this one I think of um, another method to do it I don't bother to have this one two three four six nine ten ten battery here I don't bother to have this uh, anymore, instead, I have this one. I've made this one by uh, putting a lithium battery inside and with the some wiring connected to the top of this the plug. And uh, this one is the uh, remaining battery, but I bypass it. It doesn't uh, connect to that anymore, but uh, I I uh, leave this behind because the, I leave it here because I want to have the uh, rigid frame and the body to support uh, the connector. There is a uh, very tiny lithium battery. Uh, this is from my old model RC toy. I play RC uh, toys before and uh, I don't play it anymore but I use the battery for this one. So I made a connector here so I can unplug it and then take this to a normal charger to charge. What I've done here, you can see the connector with connecting to the original two wires up to the top and then uh, to these two uh, metal connector. As I said, this uh, battery here is to um, make the frame of it so this one doesn't fall out put a tape here and then um, in the body here 
this pretty big uh, room with that uh, relatively small battery so I put three uh, original battery here just for the dumb weight and uh, for the uh, for the place put it in nicely it doesn't shake around much and uh, this is much be better um, without obstructing the screws, uh, the screws, the five screws, uh, three screws, I think, because the, uh, these two holes are for the uh, for this uh, uh, little pin here. You can see my battery is a little bit um, inflate. There's some air inside. Probably have to change it. I've used it for a while. And this is 11.5 uh, volt, 15C. If you play the video, uh, play the LC tour, you know what it means. Uh, C is the, the power of it, the, the discharge um, capability. And 50C is a much uh, powerful battery. And it says LC pad, 900 mAh only. This is, uh, you, you can see this is a very small number. But uh, because of the 15C, it's very powerful, so you can drive this. Drew, uh, I will show you at the end of this video, it works. To charge this battery with the three cells here, we need to charge it like this one balance charger, discharger. So, um, some of people may know about it when you like batteries or when you play the RC model cars or planes, you know this pretty well. Uh, but I just uh, briefly explains how this works. So this is a multi-charger. You can charge uh, lithium and nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride. Uh, 1 to 6 cells, 1 to 15 cells. Let me get closer. And LED battery, good for car. Uh, I've used this one for my car charging uh, without bring it to garage when the battery is flat. You can uh, also refer to the link above or somewhere if you use a PC or using a uh, uh, mobile tablet. <coughs> you can watch that video and you can adjust the charge rate and discharge rate. This is a pretty good uh, device, it's uh, very useful and uh, there is a balance charging function with all those different cells and the main output here input is here okay um, let me show, show you how to charge the, this battery when your body is going to come with this connector already this is a uh, multifunctional connector you can uh, connect the different types of the plugs output I use this one Okay, the main input is the black and red and this shortcut is for the balance charging. You look at that uh, three cells. So plug it here. Yeah, on the other side, yep. Yeah. So the connection is finished. So so PB charge. Let me change it to lithium. Oh, okay, do it again. Okay, this one. This lithium ion battery. Lithium ion battery charge, you can adjust the uh, charge rate. It's 1 amp. I uh, usually use a lower one because the, my my battery is not very big. Okay, here says balance. Put the balance and adjust that. Let's say 800 milliamp and three cells. That's good. So hold the press. It goes for a battery track. So make sure it's uh, free. Confirm. Clear. Uh, confirm 
It shows the current voltage is 12.3 volt, it's pretty high, and uh, there is a balance, the time and the capacity, uh, how many um, mini m hour that's charged in, and the current voltage is 0 0.6 amp charging, free cells. When it finishes, it will have the it will stop by itself and uh, shows you how long it charged it and what is the capacity and the voltage. It's very clear, very handy, very good to use. So let me briefly explain how the charger works. The balloon charger outputs the positive and negative the poles to the cell. There are three cells here, there. and the balloon charge there are four wires. You can see two white wire and then black and red wire on each side. The wire connects to the four position of the cell so it checks the individual cell voltage. So these two wires check this cell, these two wires check this cell, these two wires check this cell, and it, the charger knows which uh, battery has a higher or low voltage, so that it will uh, have the additional charging current to make sure at the end the three uh, cells having the same voltage. With those balance chargers, you can see you just omit these four wires. They're only plus and minus, and having the cells in series, so uh, individual cell maybe up, maybe uh, charge up to the maximum 4.2 volts, and preventing uh, the current charging the other cells. Talk about the uh, Empty voltage 3.7, so it comes up 11.1, which is the the number on the cell showing here. 11.1. When it's fully charged, it has 4.2 volts on this cell. It comes up with 12.6 volt, which is good for the uh, this one. 12. 0 0.6 for a little bit higher, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's gone up 13 if you know. Wells about uh, electricity. So, 12 volt battery original. We can original this one is 12 volts. We choose free cells lithium batteries. You can you can use uh, 18650 series, 18650 in series uh, with the balanced uh, charging mechanism as well. Or you can use uh, any other cells, any size or even bigger size cell in series and using the same mechanism on this as long as uh, you can put that in this compartment. Having this fully charged you can connect it to back to the case. And put it on. Have this made to mark the positive and negative sign on it. So make sure you connect the wire in the correct places. And now it's up on one one volt, so that's good. So let me try on it. <clears throat> So it's good as the the one with the this original nickel metal hydride battery. It is nice, and uh, you don't have to worry the battery anymore because you can change it anytime with another lithium battery. Anytime you just uh, take it out and then charge it. I know this method is a little bit uh, clumsy because you have to uh, unscrew it and charge it, but it's better than uh, nothing. And uh, in the future, I will show you another video and using uh, 18650, three of them, and then put that in this compartment with the uh, protection shaker board on it and with the balance mechanism so you can charge it uh, 
with the same machine and also uh, with a better protection and, and capacity. I know uh, this video may be interested by someone or maybe someone think it's too long or, or the, the cutting is not good. Uh, thank you for your comment in the past and I try to make this short and make this useful and make it more uh, into the topic. So I hope you like it. If you really like it, please subscribe, share and also give my, some comment and also watch other video related uh, or interested to you. Thank you so much. See you next time for the uh, for the modification of the 18650 battery battery uh, for this drill. Thank you.